Okay, hey, we're back. Stage two, sitting down with Kevin Harrington. Hello. And uh, we are making our way across a bridge from... and racking up the money. Yeah. This must be like we're we're clearly bringing down narcos. I think that's what we were trying to figure out last yeah. time. Yeah. Like, what was the end game? Who are the bad guys? But like, we found nothing but like nuke dealer thugs. <laughs> yeah. And then just boxes and and trash cans filled with money and gold, like actual piles of gold. You just saw there. Yeah. The so, the economy of this world seems a bit strange. Since yeah. Every trash can has like money sacks in it. So maybe everybody's doing well. Yeah. Still, like in the look at the background, those are some pretty uh pretty awesome. It's like a bunch of Trump towers. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, they're not falling apart, <laughs> and they're not built with uh, sweatshop labor. The other thing that um, that kind of uh, concerns me is that we are taking on so many guys that at this point, at least I'd say, I don't know the population of this city, but a substantial percent of them must be reliant on this drug empire. Yeah, for like, I'm starting to like, feel guilty. Yeah. Are we, are, you know, are we the bad guys? Like, yeah. is this just something... You know, are I, we are we just taking these guys down because somebody has like Nuka Cola that you know they want they want to prop up and <laughs> they're like, oh, sorry, I wanted to tell you a secret. <laughs> oh, and he wants to tell a secret to my backside, and I said no. But yeah, one of the things that concerns me is like the economy of this city. No matter what's going on here, <laughs> will end as soon as we're done with our mission. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! I did not realize I could Nancy Kerrigan or Brian Boitano over these guys. <laughs> What is that? Oh, that is an awesome move. Let me. I do gotta this. get this guy up to the Boom. Get down. There it is. Ha. Oh, I can Fuck do a, a like a rocket headbutt. You can. Uh. Whoa! Look out! Grenade. Grenade. Whoa. Good call. Uh. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. If I, I double tap and then punch, I do a headbutt and then a little. Little jumps, a little little uh, little roundhouse. No, not what I meant to do. Oh, my gold! My gold! Nice. Boom. Nice. I love that move. The the Whoops. jump. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Sorry. I was looking at you. I was like, why am I? Ooh, I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. These characters health. are very similar. So. Yeah. Uh, oh. There's... Oh yeah. You do need health. Yeah. Uh. uh bicycle is my one weakness. <laughs> uh... And here we are fighting. Uh. Oh, who are the? Who are the? Was it the bushwhackers? I'm thinking of. That I don't had know. those spiky they... pads in WWF. Remember them? Oh, I don't know. I'm not a like, wrestling guy. Oh, God, I can't remember their names. I think it was the... No, no, Legion of Doom. What am I talking about? Uh, well, the Bushwhackers were also another duo, but the Legion of Doom, they had the uh, the face paint and the mohawks and the spiky football pads, and they kind of look like the, the roided-up motorcycle guys that we just saw, who are yeah. like a combination of Mad Max, Leather Daddies, meet WWF. <laughs> yeah, they look like they're from like a very... Neon Mad Max world. I'm gonna grab that. Oh, ah, shit! shit. Ah, that's oh, good. Here we are. Money. Gotta get that paper. Yeah. Oh, uh, here's an apple. Eat thank it. you. Oh, here is this Barbone. Oh, no, no, this is. Yeah, these guys I are forget. very clearly not Ryu, even yeah. though they're wearing, uh, you know, a, a yeah, very they're... Ryu garb at, for this period and shooting fire from their fist. And these guys are so confident that they're not going to jump in to help them until it's very clear that they've lost. Yeah, shit. Oh. I think this is the end of the stage. So. No, actually, there's a little more after this. Oh, they're trying to... Yeah, they grab you, but they kind of forget what they want they to kinda, do. Actually. They Yeah, once they see that young, uh, <laughs> sweet starfruit <laughs> of a 12-year-old, they, they, like, they start to question and they self-destruct. Yeah. Uh, like, oh, look at that. Yes. It looks like he shoved, shoved some baseballs down his pants and tight little buttocks. Uh, oh, come on. Those guys are still going. Uh, these... This is a very eclectic gang. I'll give them that. Like, yeah. you've got the standard thugs here, then various degrees of martial artists. This guy right here that you just knocked the fuck out of. Oh, and there's some more. Looks like a pre-mutagen bebop. <laughs> yeah. Is That's it, is it? Be yeah, it's Bebop. That was the the boar, right? Yeah, there was yeah. also uh, Ninja Turtles levels that ended on a bridge like this. Yes, you know you what? Fought, was uh, that Baxter a requirement? Stockman. Yeah, it was the uh, <laughs> Turtles in Time, right? Yeah, it was like I think the first level you fight Baxter Stockman, and at the end or like during the level, Krang is in the background walking by. Oh or, yeah, or was that in the HD re-release only? Oh, maybe that's maybe that's in the re-release. I just remember the last, the boss of that level 
is is roided oh, up. And um, you know what? This boss is exactly like the Baxter Stock. Oh, it totally is. It's, this is just a ripoff level. I just this realized is, this that. is literally they just skinned. They totally yeah. just skinned. Uh, well, let's figure out which one came out. They probably came out yeah. close together. Yeah. But that's the thing. Like, oh, oh god, video games, move. like arcade games, and especially the console games, are constantly ripping each other off. Yeah. To be the like Coke versus Pepsi bullshit. Like this guy. The only thing different is. No, no. They just. Uh, it's probably they just put like fly eyes on him. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, okay. You know what's amazing is the control that you get with the jetpack. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike the guys that you see at every like B minus triple A baseball game. Oh, yeah. you just got knocked the fuck out, that Jet. That was a nice finisher. Boom, maybe you should have upgraded to some nuke, motherfucker. <laughs> um but it's just like triple A like I always, or not even maybe it's just like the minor league baseball games always had the weirdest promotion shit. Uh I grew up in Boise, Idaho. And I remember we had the Boise Hawks who were like single A. I think they were single A, or maybe double A, um, for the Angels. And they would always have like the weirdest stuff for like halftime shows. Almost like minor league baseball was managed by the people that were managing ABA back in the seventies. And they were like, we just got to get people. Oh, sorry, in. man. We got to figure out how to get people in seats. And I remember they would have like mini concerts, like some like B minus celebrity would play a concert in the seventh inning. And I'd just be like, this is, like, nothing to do with baseball, and this just, like, drags shit out. So maybe it's just, like, somebody's genius idea to sell more food at the... <laughs> but I remember, like, goofy shit like that that just seemed like you'd have a guy that would fly in on a jetpack around the stadium and just be like, this looks all kinds of dangerous, because that just looks shit. Like, the jetpacks, in reality, are, like, five times the size that you see in, like, these movies or video games. Oh, yeah, have you seen Clunky that? There's, shit. There's a, that giant, um... Oh, shit. There's that giant, like, two propeller jetpack that they have out now that, like, it oh, works. Yeah. Those work. Those look awesome, but they are they super They look awesome, big. but they're huge. And, yeah. like, I get it, though. You also can't have flames shooting out of your ass. <laughs> yeah, because that's around. also the thing. I'm just like, you'd burn your asshole. Yeah. Or you, like, you know, everything's fine. You lean forward, and you, uh, you're you a little, like, you know, comfortable, and you fart, and then yeah. you die. Like, you oh, just, sorry. you would explode, and, like, a blue dart, you just start corkscrewing to your death. Yeah. And, like, no one brings that up. Like, didn't come up once in The Rocketeer. Yeah, not once. Not once did he have really thick leather pants that would yeah. hold in any methane release. Uh. I think that would be the first thing that would happen to me when I strap a fucking rocket to my back. I would fart fear. Yeah. I would fear fart. Yeah. Or I'd shit myself. <laughs> and either one is ending up with a blue dart when you have a giant jet engine shooting above your anus. Uh, I guess it's probably didn't want to bring that up in a Disney movie. Yeah, probably <laughs> not. Or in comics, they're just like, well, we haven't figured out the physics. Of yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I really like that movie. Oh, I, oh. I wish... Yeah, there he is. There he is! Old, old Steppy McStaff. Yeah. <laughs> he just... It's like an old man's brain in a young man's body. Just like... <laughs> he hasn't figured out that he no longer has arthritis and, and uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I don't know, rickets or whatever in his legs. He's just like, no, I'll get ah, you. Shit. And it's like, Bob, you, you've you got the body of a 30-year-old finally. And it's like, ah, oh, this is the way I was stabbing orderlies in the old folks' home. <laughs> like, there were a bunch of old folks that were, like, working in a sweatshop for this drug dealer. And the good one got got an upgrade where they put his brain in one of his henchmen. <laughs> it's like, oh, Felix, you were, you were really good at killing Nazis back in the day. How would you like to kill a young group of kids that are trying to ruin my cocaine nuke empire? Well, if I get to stab them, just, I hope that, as, you know, if it's a mix of a minorities, I don't like them. <laughs> like, they just got, like, the most racist, crotchety <laughs> bastard from some old folks' home in Florida. It's like, I hate them young kids on their rollerblades. Can't wait to get my old Nazi stabbing knife out. Oh, where's my pills? <laughs> Just say that way, pirates. Oh, good. yeah. We're all, we're in a theme we, park. There's oh, like I'm pretty. I sure didn't that's... realize this last time, but we were talking about that when there's the baseball level. Yeah. Is this just? Are we at Disney? Are we at Epcot Ooh, Center? One up. I'm gonna grab that. Uh, uh, I oh, think so. I like you apple. can see the castle in the background. Um, do you see like? 
in the back. Oh, totally. That's totally the Disney This castle. is totally, oh my god, we are totally in Epcot. Yeah. And this is maybe, I would love the game just to be very, like, uh, Matrix-y. Like, the whole time you play this game is just a dream. <laughs> It's I like mean, these it, are four kids that signed up for, like, <laughs> Jumanji, except of karate. Oh, uh, motherfucker. Nah, I should have let you grab that one. No, it's okay. All right. Uh, die. Oh, nice. Got a katana. Ooh, and I got some sort of stabby shiv. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. He is, he is getting stabbed. Yeah, we're, um... We're murderers. There's no other way yeah. around that. We're like <laughs> teen murder squad. Yeah. <laughs> Like there Team was the monster squad. squad, and people were like, "Well, if you're if you're if you don't know, go to school and you're old enough, you can maybe join the Avengers, but you have to like learn some <laughs> skills and probably have a resume and a cover letter." This is just like, "Hey, kids, you want to stab some people? <laughs> yeah, do I? How are good at you swinging a sack of doorknobs? I'm the best. I hope I get to see some lady boobs, because boy, I've only looked at the Sears catalog." <laughs> Yeah, because oh. this is the late 80s, 90s. Did we figure out what the, when this game was? Uh, I believe 92. 92. So even then, kids, there was no internet to jerk off to. You had to hope for either uh, forest porn or <laughs> whatever that, that that urban myth. That isn't an urban myth. No, thing. Like, literally, people find just, like, woods playboys. Like, there's a, like a Bigfoot pedophile that's just <laughs> trying to attract kids to his cave. Uh, you either had that... Uh, scrambled porn on TV or the Sears catalog. So see, that's why I can see somebody like Skate signing up for this. I was 13 in like 2000, so oh, remember those things the HR Geiger level yeah. of exploding. That yeah. is a kick in the nuts. It's like, here's the thing that gives you health, but God forbid you open it because yeah. it will explode. Well, you gotta run. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Ooh, Katana, you get it. All right, they're fun as hell. They Got are. a great race. Just like real life. <laughs> Look at this. He's just, this is this is where, this is very, this is the most realism in the game, is an 80-pound 12-year-old struggling. Like, that Katana probably weighs as much as he does. Ah, oh, oh, good, I caught him. Four, four and a half foot long steel blade, probably like 50 pounds. And this guy's like, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> But I love uh, that he reaches back so far that I actually stabbed somebody that was coming up behind yeah, me, see, trying to hit somebody in front of me. Skate's definitely got the most interesting movesets, but he's got such a glass jaw that you'll, like, yeah. even using his specials, you can deplete your health after, like, two of them. Yeah, That's he makes brutal. Glass Joe look like <laughs> a fucking rock. Yeah, he's he's a weak okay. uh, uh, This, yeah, I really love the controls in this game. It's just so smooth. Yeah. It's like... Whatever formula they used, it was absolutely perfect. Yeah, and that's the thing, like, with this character in particular, I love Skate because he's totally the Eddie Gordo of, <laughs> of Streets of Rage 2. Like, every move you do, combo, like that, yeah. uh, I combos into some sort of, like, double axle death. Yeah. Oh, and, and that... here we are fighting the Viking Geiger <laughs> yeah. sculpture. This is like Skyrim and Aliens got together. Like, they implanted an egg in the Dragonborn, and this whole level hatched out. <laughs> I think we're still in the theme park, too. So this is an attraction. This yeah. is a feature. This is a feature. Would you like to... Yeah. Know, this is the weirdest... Oh, yeah, it's like... It... Everything about... It's just totally like a Geiger artwork. Because yeah. everything here is very Yonic. Yeah. And just looks like either dicks or vaginas. But they're very, like... Ah. It's like somebody that was afraid of both dicks and vaginas. <laughs> it's like, oh, I find human bodies gross. So this whole level is just a nightmare of human biology. Yeah. Uh, he's almost dead, though. Yeah, that's it. Boom. All right. I think that's going to do it for this episode. We will uh, catch up with you on the next one.